chat your face off about <laughs> social media and being an influencer and what it means. Sometimes the people don't think, hey, I can make a career out of blogging. So yeah, that's that's the term we use. I think influencer is usually a term reserved for the brand side. I, as soon as I hear the word influencer, I think of like Instagram. I don't know why. When I started working with more and more brands, they were just like, that's the word that they knew. That's what their VPs, like think about like the old dudes. They're like, influencer, it's a thing. We read in it in ad week and like, we that's the word, right? <laughs> Influencer marketing with all these lovely people. Hey, I'm Joelle from La Petite New. I'm here for Training Tuesday. Can't wait to get started with everybody. It's going to be so fun. I have a couple questions um, that I wanted to ask earlier about influencers. You kind of touched on a little bit, but the number of followers too. You know, when you're delving into that, you see the followers, and then you see there's like. 45 posts and you're like, this just doesn't add up. I also have seen people sort of get more money because they have maybe more followers. And if you look a little deeper, they've bought or purchased a lot of them. And I have a problem with that because we're trying to stay as authentic as possible. We, like I said, we don't have a giant social media following, but we get 2.1 million hits a month on the blog so we have that and it's verified we can because there are so many variables that are going to affect no if it's a six month ambassador program and you're exclusive to this this shopping center so you can't talk about any other shopping centers that's obviously going to yeah. give away higher price right. uh, if there are other things involved like Rachel was saying about the clothing um, there's, you can add value in different ways right. too, but it really just comes down to what's expected and what the work's going to be and how long it lasts. Yeah. Especially now that it's kind of blowing up. I guess it's just finding and doing your research and searching in the categories and going and looking on blog, like just doing research, you know, and then finding one person influence you like and then seeing, oh, that person, you know, collaborates with this person a lot and, and like is tagged in her photos and she's really cute too. And like, oh, okay, like I like this vibe and it kind of fits with my brand. Like, again, everything's at your fingertips. It's all there. You and this will happen to you where a brand will reach out and be like, hey, we want to like send you a few products. You're like, that's cool, oh, great. Here's my contact information. And then they'll follow up the next week and be like, when are you posting? Here are the hashtags. I feel like that really happened to me a lot before. So yeah, that's like a big pet peeve for me is to not put it all out there at the beginning. You sent this to me and what, you sent me a lipstick and I don't know what you want me to do here, but I've got about 200 lipsticks in this pile right now that have come in the last couple days. And I'm just trying to work through what I've got here and like what I like. Which platform do you think is best? Or I guess which platform do you see as like long term? And why is it the answer so you can't choose why? 
isn't your main. Okay. Brand. Well, I will obviously slice. say Instagram because that is where I see my highest numbers. It's even excelled my blog at this point, which is like a little sad to me, but also like it is what it is. As somebody who sees a lot of it on Instagram, get into video for sure because that is what people are searching for. That is what they're using as their primary search tool now. 100% get into video. Video two for your Instagram analytics. It puts you in the algorithm. You'll see people, and it's not fake too. If somebody does like a post, they typically get about 700 likes and they do an Instagram video and it's 3,000 views.